Hey, Ryan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've kind of lost track. Uh, I think we're probably a good solid three weeks into this uh, naked lifestyle for you. You have done the challenge, which mm -hmm. let's say was 10 days, two weeks, and people want to know they're still following you and trying to figure out you know, how it's going, what are you doing. Mm -hmm. Um, you've come up against some issues like, hello, Thanksgiving, gobble, yes. gobble, Holidays. and traveling, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you've experienced, you've had um, a couple little um, side meals outside of the Naked Lifestyle. Tell me how that's going for you. I um, had some alcohol one evening, um, <gasps> special occasion no! for a friend, special occasion <laughs> for a friend. And then, um, you know, I kind of started to think in my head, like you said, um, having a lifestyle, um, basically maintaining this lifestyle and still having, you know, in, in, have little enjoyments on the side that, you know, you know, do your thing. So the next morning, I, <laughs> I really badly cheated. Lobster. You, did, you didn't cheat. You didn't I, cheat. No, no, I didn't it's cheat. It's part of finding balance. Yeah. It's just, it's the natural instinct when you're doing this to, to think I'm cheating. But like you said, it's, it's more of a lifestyle change. So I had a lobster burrito the next day. Lobster but burrito. Mm. I have to admit, my, my smelling and my taste buds are so heightened that I wanted more greens. Like, I had a green juice right after the burrito, and I got right back on it, and I, I craved it. Like, today I had a snack. It was a, a whole thing of broccoli raw. I just cut it into florets and dipped it in, like, a very nice, you know, very veggie... Um, guacamole? guacamole spicy and it was amazing and I craved it and it tasted so good like the tasting of vegetables it's not like you know kids are like and eh, it doesn't taste. I mean it's amazing and I crave it yeah that's that's actually that's the, one of the beautiful things about it is that you can go and have your lobster burrito your alcohol and all that but you you find that there's a difference right in mm -hmm. how you feel after you eat the food and your body gets so used to feeling good that it goes, ah, that's going to make me feel good. That's going to make me feel... Now, that's going to taste exciting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, exactly. let's face it. I, I'd rather have macaroni and cheese than, you know, uh, a green bean. But, you know, yeah. the green bean's ultimately going to make me feel better. And I know that. Like, yeah. I was back on it today, and uh, I felt a lot better. And we, we just went to dinner with uh, our family. And, uh, you know, I, I indulged a little bit. But I, I kept it veggie, but I did have some red meat. Um... You know, it was a familiar flavor. I wanted to have it. But, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it. And now I, I'm back on my thing. And then come Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving Day, I'm probably going to have to be a real bad boy. I'll make a lot of vegetables, I promise. Yeah. So, so. Um, so with the cooked vegetables, mm -hmm. um, how do you feel with the cooked vegetables versus the raw vegetables? They feel, they feel, they feel okay, but the, the, the raw ones are better. I mean, you get more feel and get more energy. You can tell they're working. The, the the cook ones are a little like you know you, they know they're a little, they're heavy. Yeah. The yeah. nutrients have been sucked out of it. Yeah, it's definitely a different feeling. Okay, yeah. well, thank you, and we're gonna check in on. We're actually gonna be interviewing you tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, for the Naked Zone website, and um, then we'll check in on Thanksgiving. Perfect. Gobble gobble. Later, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.